Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Friday. It is April 8th, and we are in this fifth week of Lent, coming up to the end of Lent, beginning of Holy Week on Sunday. Friends, let's begin our morning prayer with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. <clears throat> Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Come, let us worship the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Lord, whose love in humble service bore the weight of human need, who did on the cross forsaken show us mercy's perfect deed, we, your servants, bring the worship, not a voice alone, but heart. Consecrating to your purpose every gift which you impart. As we worship, grant us vision till your love's revealing light. Till the height and depth and greatness dawns upon our human sight, making known the needs and burdens your compassion bids us bear, stirring us to faithful service, your abundant life to share. <clears throat> Lord, you will accept the true sacrifice offered on your altar. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done, that you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed you love truth in the heart, then in the, te in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. 
burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocausts offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, he who knew no sin was made sin for us, to save us and restore us to your friendship. Look upon our contrite heart and afflicted spirit, and heal our troubled conscience, so that in the joy and strength of the Holy Spirit, we may proclaim your praise and glory before all the nations. Lord, you will accept the true sacrifice offered on your altar. All the descendants of Israel will glory in the Lord's gift of victory. Truly with you God is hidden, the God of Israel, the Savior. Those are put to shame and disgrace who vent their anger against him. Those go in disgrace who carve images. Israel, you are saved by the Lord, saved forever. You shall never be put to shame or disgrace in future ages. For thus says the Lord, the creator of the heavens, who is God, the designer and maker of the earth, who established it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord, and there is no other. I have not spoken from hiding, nor from some dark place of the earth. I have not said to the descendants of Jacob, Look for me in an empty waste. I, the Lord, promise justice. I foretell what is right. Come and assemble, gather together, you fugitives from among the Gentiles. They are without knowledge who bear wooden idols, and pray to gods that cannot save. Come here and declare in council together, who announced this from the beginning, and foretold it from of old? Was it not I, the Lord, besides whom there is no saving God? There is no just and saving God but me. Turn to me and be safe, all you ends of the earth, for I am God, and there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree and my unalterable word. To me every knee shall bend, by me every tongue shall swear, saying only in the Lord are just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come all who vent their anger against him. In the Lord shall be the vindication and the glory of all the descendants of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All the descendants of Israel will glory in the Lord's gift of victory. Let us go into God's presence, singing for joy. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Know that he the Lord is God. He made us. We belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. With joy and gladness we cry out to you, Lord, and ask you, open our hearts to sing your praises and announce your goodness and truth. Let us go into God's presence, singing for joy. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. See, my servant shall prosper. He shall be raised high and greatly exalted. Even as many were amazed at him, so marred was his look beyond that of man, and his, parent, and his appearance beyond that of mortals. So shall he startle many nations, because of him... King shall stand speechless, for those who have not been told shall see, those who have not heard shall ponder it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare, from those who would trap me with lying words, and from the hunter's snare. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. The Lord said, I have done you many acts of kindness. For which of them do you want to kill me? Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord said, I have done you many acts of kindness. For which of them do you want to kill me? Thanks be to Christ the Lord, who brought us life by his death on the cross. With our whole heart, let us ask him, By your death, raise us to life. Teacher and Savior, you have shown us your fidelity and made us a new creation by your passion. By your death, excuse me, and made us a new creation by your passion, keep us from falling again into sin. By your death, raise us to life. Help us to deny ourselves today and not deny those in need. By your death, raise us to life. May we receive this day of penance as your gift and give it back to you through works of mercy. By your death, raise us to life. Master our rebellious hearts and teach us generosity. By your death, raise us to life. Gathering these prayers, these intentions, calling to mind the prayers and the intentions of our own hearts, remembering each of those people who have asked for our prayers, each of those people that we've promised to pray for. We lift up our voices now, using those sacred words of Jesus himself. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, grant us your forgiveness and set us free from our enslavement to sin. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And friends, thank you for joining me today for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours. How good it is for us to each day joining together, praying the prayer of the church, praying with the church, praying through the church, but praying for the church and all of her members. Um, you have special intentions. I have special intentions. You have the prayers of your own heart, um, the prayers of my own heart. So friends, let's remember to pray for one another. Again, it really is just a gift uh, for me to be able to pray for each of you, for you to be able to pray for me, for us to be able to pray with and for each other as we travel throughout this day today. And so friends, um, whether you are out and about today, 
whether you are staying in, remember to be safe today, remember to be healthy today, remember to be happy today, but above all, remember to be holy today, to live out the holiness of Jesus Christ in your life today, just like we promised at our baptism. Friends, may God be praised in you, may God be praised through you, and I do hope that you have a beautiful day today.